My name is Nishika Chetri and I study electronic engineering and computer science here at Aston University. The reason I chose to study at Aston was that I visited the university during the um, offer holders day and I felt quite welcomed. The professors and the other staff members were quite friendly and approachable and Aston is quite well reputed for its electronics degree. At Aston, you get to be a part of a variety of societies and clubs. I have personally been an active member of the West Society, which stands for Women in Engineering, Science and Technology. As a part of the society, I had the opportunity to participate in the City Fest, which was a STEM outreach event organised by Aston University for young school children. Also, being a part of the society, I've had the opportunity to meet other women in STEM and we have a very strong and supportive community. I did my placement at uh, Renesas Electronics, which is a global semiconductor company based in Japan. However, my office was based in Buckinghamshire, which is down south. My role uh, was uh, that of an embedded systems software developer. So I wrote boot ROMs for semiconductor chips and Python scripts for testing the application code. Boot ROMs are essentially the first piece of software a chip runs when it starts and I thoroughly enjoyed my placement and it has sort of reinforced my decision of working within the embedded systems area after graduation. During my first year I took part in the engineering for people design challenge where I worked within a, a multidisciplinary and culturally diverse team for a week to solve real world problems faced by people in Makers Valley, Johannesburg. During my first year itself, I got a taste of what it is like to work as an engineer because in the real world you work with people from different degree disciplines and the entire process from brainstorming the idea to refining the design requires good engineering and research skills. I was able to map so many different skills from that challenge alone such as communications, teamwork, problem solving and these proved to be excellent examples during my placement interviews and they helped me secure a job. My greatest achievements so far have been winning the Bright Sparks Award and the UK ESF Scholar of the Year Award. So the Bright Sparks is presented to 30 young professionals within the UK who have made an impact and winning that award has been the biggest highlight of my degree so far. Having the right balance between academics and activities alongside contributing to the industry during my placement year is what helped me win the award. Promoting more women in computing is something which is very close to my heart. I see the issue of the gender gap in this field every day. However, when I reflect on my journey, it's been as rewarding and successful as any of my male counterparts, if not more. However, the gender gap is a serious issue. When we talk about a software engineer or an electronic engineer, we picture a male in our head. When we just Google the word engineer, a majority of the pictures are those of men. And hence it becomes difficult for young girls to picture themselves as engineers because of these reasons. Uh, however, being a woman in computing myself, I know that we do belong here and I know that it is important to promote these careers to young girls. The work that we do in this industry solely relies on our passion, skills and experience and not our gender and I think that is an important message that needs to reach to young girls.